Question number 166, select the incorrect statement and the options given are, first option, C peptide is removed during maturation of proinsulin into insulin. This is correct. As you can see in the diagram, this is proinsulin and this is matured insulin and during maturation, C peptide is removed. Second option, the functional insulin has A and B chains linked by only one disulfide bond. This is incorrect. As you can see in the figure, A peptide and B peptide, they are linked by the two disulfide bonds. Third option, hemulin is produced in E. coli. This is a correct statement. Fourth option, recombinant therapeutics do not induce unwanted immunological responses. This is also a correct statement. For example, in the earlier time, insulin was extracted from the pancreas of slaughtered cattle and pigs. As this insulin is of animal origin, it can cause allergy in human beings. But the insulin which is produced by genetic engineering is chemically similar to human insulin and such insulin does not induce unwanted immunological responses. So fourth option is a correct statement and incorrect statement is the second one. So correct answer to this question is option number two. Moving to the next question, question number 167, the T wave in a standard ECG represents and the options given are first option depolarization of ventricles. This is incorrect because depolarization of ventricles is represented by QRS complex. Second option, repolarization of ventricles. This is correct because repolarization of ventricles in a standard ECG is represented by the T wave. Third option, repolarization of atria. This is incorrect because this wave is obscured by the much larger QRS complex. Fourth option, depolarization of atria. This is also incorrect because it is represented by P wave in a standard ECG. So correct answer to this question is option number two. Now moving to the next question, question number 168, which of the following option includes all STIs and the options given are first option, cephalus, genital herpes and cancer. Cephalus and genital herpes are STI but cancer is not an STI. Second option, genital warts, gonorrhea and AIDS, all three are STI. So correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's see option three and fourth also. AIDS, hepatitis B and malaria. AIDS and hepatitis B are STI but malaria is not STI. Fourth option, toxoplasmosis, gonorrhea and cancer. Toxoplasmosis and gonorrhea are STI but cancer is not a STI. So correct answer to this question is option number two. Moving to the next question, question number 169, which of the following is a correct statement and the options given are first option, glucagon is released in response to hyperglycemia. This is incorrect because glucagon is released in response to hypoglycemia, that is decrease in blood glucose level as glucagon is a hyperglycemic hormone. Second option, cortisol stimulates glycogenolysis. This is incorrect. Glycogenolysis is breakdown of glycogen. Cortisol stimulates gluconeogenesis, that is synthesis of glucose from non-carbohydrate sources. Third option, insulin is a hyperglycemic hormone. This is incorrect. Insulin is a hypoglycemic hormone. It decreases blood glucose level by facilitating the uptake of glucose by the body cells. Fourth option, insulin acts on hepatocytes and adipocytes. This is correct. The target cells of insulin are hepatocytes and adipocytes mainly. So, correct answer to this question is option number four. Moving to the next question, question number 170. In agarose gel electrophoresis, DNA fragments appear as orange colored bands after staining with and the options given are first option acetocarbene under UV radiation. This is incorrect. Acetocarbene is used to stain chromosomes. Second option ethidium bromide under UV radiation. This is correct. So correct answer to this question is option number two. Option number three methylene blue under UV radiation. This is incorrect. Fourth option ethidium bromide under visible light. This is again incorrect. We cannot see DNA fragment as orange colored bands by staining with ethidium bromide under visible light. We have to see under UV radiation, then only we can see 
ethereum bromide stained dna fragments as orange colored bands so correct answer to this question is option number two now moving to the next question mm -hmm. 